Well, I heard it on the radio when I was very small, when I was four. And although I don't remember the sound at all, I liked it so much, apparently, that I asked my mother to give me the thing that made that sound. And she did. She gave me a big, big cello, which I learned to play. But she'll be able to tell you more accurately about that. I waited till I heard the first note, and of course, from the, you know, that piece starts with the cello alone. And I was riveted to her, absolutely knocked out, instant. But not only me, the whole orchestra was silenced. They were silenced by Elgar anyway to start with, but they were totally under her spell immediately. I think that everybody who was close to her was in, uh, terribly attracted to her and in a sub subconscious way wished they could be like she was. <laughs> Do you know that there's a serious public waiting outside? <laughs> Come on, let's start. She's not only living for her career, like so many lady musicians who have this sort of almost complex about it, that they have to go at it harder than a man. She doesn't have that at all. She's interested in being a happy person, first of all, and a human being. And this is actually one of the things that impressed me most about her when I first met her. 